Hey everyone, this is Vickerman and welcome to Legends of Eisenwald. This is, um, the best way to describe it is sort of hybrid of Might and Magic and I would say uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. So uh, this is the campaign mode, this is our main campaign. Uh, we're playing as this fella named uh, Henry. Here we go. Yep, yeah, Heinrich. Uh, and uh, we are a knight class, so as you can see, uh, very similar if you're if you're familiar with something like Mountain Blade or something like that as far as how we're putting these characters together. We've got different equipment slots. What's cool is they've got like, if you don't have anything in there, they've got a personal item which is like their default. But it, usually you can find stuff that's more powerful. You can see in the last, last bit in the tutorial I purchased that sword. Uh, so that's a bit more powerful as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, so Legends of Eisenwald has been around for a while, but uh, I wanted to kind of jump back in uh, and just to uh, get this out of the way, of course, the developer did provide a key uh, to take a look at this game, um, but uh, I am uh, I'm sort of jumping into it, uh, kind of knowing how these kind of games work. Um, but uh, having a bit of a fresh perspective on this particular one. Um, so this is kind of a... Um, so in this in this uh, section here, we've, we've gone through the tutorial already off screen. Uh, and that basically just kind of showed you how all the combat, how all the back movement, how all that kind of stuff works. Uh, you can see we've already got quite a lot of stuff here in our second stage. Uh, as far as story-wise, we were uh, checking out uh, the lands around this this uh, sort of, um, uh, I forget what his title was, but he was a sort of a, a local uh, lord in the area, and we had to deal with some bandits and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and along the way, we learned how to control our units in our combat and all that good stuff. So now, we've been called away, and we've got to continue the story. I'm thinking that this guy is somebody we've got to talk to first. Yep. Heinrich von Lonstein. Thank God we've no word of your arrival. We did not think to see you alive. Didn't hope to see me alive? What do you mean? Tell me quickly, what has happened here? Of course, Sir Lonstein. But I'm afraid you won't like it. It began soon after St. Jacob's Day, a fortnight ago. From that very day, anyone who has dared to enter your fortress hasn't returned, and nothing's been heard from those inside. None of your family members have been seen either. Many still held out for your eventual return, but even some of your most faithful vassals decided that there was no authority over them and the law started breaking down. Lords remembered old conflicts and grudges that had never been settled. We've been... We've seen battle after battle scourge the land. More than ten battles have been waged, and though it pains me to say so, your vassals have suffered greatly. Uh, moreover, there are strange folk of evil continents about. They are said to be ducal servants or Bavarian and mercenary rebels, hired by the landgrave of West Rothwald. Ill deeds await those upon the roads for peasants and merchants alike. Grim news indeed, but I swear I will avert this chaos from my lands. I will live up to the Lonstein name. What else can you tell me? It'd be wise, Sir Lundstein, to ask at the outpost that stands before your castle gates. I do believe someone's waiting for you there. Now I must depart, for these storm clouds are not for my old shoulders to bear. God be with you. Damn it, damn it, damn it a third time. I knew we shouldn't have left Lundstein. I rec if only we had been here when it begun. Curses, I must hurry on to my own estates, for with such ill winds on the horizon, who knows what devilry has been happening. I will await you on the east bank. And take my advice, gather an army at once. You're going to have a tough time without a strong squad of faithful warriors guarding your lands. Once you have an army, you should check to see if the nearby villages are submitting to your lordship and you get something from them, perhaps not a lot, but still useful. Meanwhile, I will try to figure out what happened here while we were away. I'll wait for you on the East Bank. All right, so um, as you can see, uh, when I went into the screen just a little bit ago, uh, I just had my friend there, but he is gone now. It's just me for the time being. Um, so we're going to need to raise an army for sure. That's sort of priority one, if you ask me. Uh, what does this do? Go here. Boats. Uh, the local people were great fishermen and boat builders. Now there aren't as much fish in the moss, though. 
so it does look like we can hire someone here. But we got that. Let's go over here. This guy looks like he's uh, trouble, but we'll see. All right. Uh, can we hire some folks here? Um, all right. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, conversations in the tavern. Recently, Herman from Kraghausen went on a hunt and lost two greyhounds pursuing a bear. He never caught it in the end. They say the beast is at least 10 feet tall. You still send children in the forest to set those valley nets? My sister's oldest son, almost 10 years old now, well, he's not scared of anything. My sister doesn't know how to put him to bed. He's so wild. And now it's a good scare he needs. Let, let her tell him of Zimitar. It's not wise to mention him at the table. Worse still to tell children about him. If you do, you are inviting doom. This scimitar, who's he? People talk of him in whispers, and I can get no straight word from anyone. I'm a man of the forest myself, and the town rumors are lost on me. Well, if you really want to know, listen closely. Between Rhine and Odor, you would be hard-pressed to find a man as fearsome as scimitar the Iron Millstone, the Duke's executioner. A giant, ten foot tall, with a soul as black as night, and his left arm extending no further than his shoulder, but his loss only makes him an even more frightening sight. This is what the people say about him. 30 years ago, Zimitar wanted to marry a girl named Jennifer. His wealth promised her a good dowry, but the girl loved another, Linhart, a brave young knight. Jennifer's brother disliked Linhart and made arrangements for her to wed the executioner. Jennifer and Linhart wanted to run away together. Her brother caught wind of the plan and locked Jennifer in a tower. She knew she could not be with her beloved, so she agreed to give her hand and her heart to the one as she climbed the crying mountain. Crying Mountain towered over Windfeld. Windlash Peak resembled a toothed crown. Wind passing through those teeth wailed a haunting melody. For this reason, the people call it the Crying Mountain and also the Crowned Mountain. No one has ever managed to reach the top. Jennifer hoped that no one would be able to do it and that she would not have to marry someone that she did not love. Dimitar requested aid from a sorcerer. The sorcerer's left arm had hung limp and useless in its birth. So in exchange for Zimitar's arm, he granted him inhuman power. Using his newfound power, Zimitar crashed a path, carved a path for himself through the rock. When he reached the peak, he raised his sword. The wind howled around him in pain so loudly that everyone from Rhine to Odor heard it, and Zimitar had conquered its unexplored peak. As he descended, Zimitar shattered his path to block access to the peak. People say it's impossible to defeat the Iron Millstone. Only he who and reach the top of the crying mountain. Strong enough to challenge him. So she had to bury him? It's another tale entirely. There's an old monk that comes by quite often. He tells it much better than I can. Alright, so we got uh, two people in the squad here. Including myself. So let's see. We got boats that way. Hey, what's over here? There's Adolf. Adolf's estate. Brother's crease. That appears to be uh, hostile. So perhaps we'll go this way. Happy to see you safe and sound, Heinrich. You cannot imagine my shock. Conflict in my domain needs to stop. I'm in need. I must be able to count on the help of my vassals. Happy to help you, but I'm too busy. Internal wars are erupted, Heinrich. And if you want your vassals to return under your banner, you must prove your valor and overcome the more stubborn of them. When at least two of my neighbors have been defeated, the rest of us will join you, Heinrich. Castle Lotherholm. That's his, that's his fortress there. Well, okay. Uh, let's let's head south then. And it's... Guy, are you? So here's the combat screen. What's cool about this is even though you've got, like, hexes like... Are they, are they hexes? Yeah, there are hexes like that. Um, it appears to be that uh, you can basically uh, click anyone that you can actually get to. You know, it's that somebody isn't behind them because there are different ranks, you know. There can be people behind. So I can't just run to the archer, but um, I can attack any of these guys and my guy will move to where he needs to go to make that happen. Which is cool. Uh, we're just going to go like that, I think. That was a pretty good hit right there. Let's see if we can take him out. And 
now you come up there with your mace. Lightly stunned. Alright, Heinrich. So stab that guy. This is kind of how this works. Um, this, these are like the simplest units. We just got melee units on both sides. And the remaining enemies have surrendered, which is good. Uh, got some experience, uh, seven gold. Not great, but you know, whatever. That, that'll be fine. Um, so yeah, that, that's how it works. Uh, obviously there's also archers, uh, there's healers, there's priests, which is a different unit. They're more of a support unit, whereas the healer is more of a actual healer. All right, it looks like maybe this is my my actual holding here. So let's go and see. All right, we can heal people, which we should probably do that. Makes sense. Uh, we can recruit some folks. Oh, there we go. We right click, we can see what's going on here. So this is an archer. Definitely want one of those. Uh, these are more peasant type of guys. Uh, this guy. Well, let's let's maybe see if we can get one more peasant. And you can see we've got five of five. Our mercenaries don't count. Um, but all right. So yeah, this is a uh, trade. We can see. So five of five right now, once we get more holdings, we'll be able to field more regular army units. Uh, you can see the mercenaries give us, uh, they actually have a cost associated with them per turn, whereas the regular units do not. However, the regular units are limited. So that's sort of the thing you gotta figure out. Eventually we might get rid of this guy, but for the time being, we might as well leave him around because yeah, it just, just, just kind of makes sense. Uh, let's head over here. Just to see what's going on. See if we can... Well, see if we can pick up a priest. We may have to let go of one of these guys. The Abbot. From the evil people. Nothing's known about them except they're evil. Known for sure they're evil. I tell you, it's been proven many times. The gang's making for the monastery right now. And obviously not to take monastic vows. It won't hold out without your help, Henrik. Stephen Tordark, come here quick, stand for the monastery, together with Heinrich von Nonstein. Sure enough. Alright, they do got maces. Whammo. Alright. turn is it uh, this guy all right so they are melee units actually pretty pretty high DPS there I imagine they're really really squishy though Whose turn is it Oh, yours. You can't even get there. <laughs> uh, you can't do it either. <laughs> Oops. I thought you were one of mine. Sorry. Alright. Alright, Heinrich. Can't do anything there. Shoot. Knock him out. <laughs> Alright, those guys are pretty good actually, you know? See if we get a reward. Ah, take the ointment to heal your people's wounds. Undead at the graveyard. Oh my goodness. Hard time for all, even the dead cannot lay still. Dreadful things are happening in the monastery. But the 
against even simple years to an irrigation slumber. No matter how much help. No matter how much we have prayed for his soul, nothing helps. His sins must be truly unforgivable. So those guys were only in this, that single battle. It's too bad. Pretty tough dudes. Uh, I think you might be uh, the actual support unit. Can we hire them? Not enough castle support to hire that unit. Uh, okay. So maybe what we do is come back next time. Hope you've enjoyed Legends of Eisenwald. This has been pretty fun. So uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, have a great one. Maker from the Irish, you have something to say. So I hit on the wall, sir, for the air. I hear my hair, I'm a 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 hair, I'